with Grand Prairie Outdoors. I'm in a spot here with Brad Jones with Scrape Line Hunters where you can see I got alfalfa over here in a strip. It's been in for three years. You got clover here. It's Ladino clover, which was also overseeded with some intermediate clover. We're not going to talk too much about the differences in clover today, but yet we got two different types of clover. As you can see here, we got about 12 inches of growth on the clovers. We got about double the height there on the alfalfa. It's um, not quite blossomed out yet, but just about ready. It's late, uh, late vegetation um, in that, and so. I love uh, how he's got this here with the scrape line. We got the clovers, we got the, the high amount of protein. But so many people overlook alfalfa. And alfalfa, you're gonna be looking at, you know, with some of these new varieties, up to eight to 10 ton of dry matter per acre, versus your clovers are probably gonna give you about two and a half, two, two and a half ton of dry matter. They both have similar uh, protein levels, they both have similar energy levels, they both have similar mineral levels, and so, um, you know, you won't be able to see this here, but there you can see where the alfalfa has been eating here. Uh, generally, in the grazing community, we like them to graze about half the height, and if you got plenty of feed, that's generally what will happen. And it, you, you know, he won't be able to focus in on there, but they've basically taken the tops of the alfalfa off. There's also some areas where I can see where they've taken off the clover, and you can see you got a good amount of the height there, but they took the tops off. So. A little tip there is for those of you that don't clip, you want to clip to keep the nutrition level as high as you can. You do not want to clip too low. We want to take half, leave half, so we don't slow the root you know, uptake, uh, nutrient uptakes. Um, and on alfalfa, you might have to clip three to four times a year if you do focus more on alfalfa versus the clovers you're looking at two to three, depending on the weather and location and so on and so forth. But I love alfalfa. Um, we, I like clover, um, and you can just kind of see the difference on yield here. So if you have an area with a lot of deer, you're going to get uh, more yield here with the alfalfa. Also, when the clovers kind of shut down earlier in the fall, these alfalfas will really be a magnet for the deer when they get to be November, December, snow on the ground up north, you know, in January, February, those deer, there's more um, stockpile forage with the alfalfa than there would be with the clover. So. Um, maybe a little bit of teaching tool, but we got side-by-side -side alfalfa and clover.